Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and my name is Manish Tiwari. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about auto scaling group. We will try to understand the concept of auto scaling group. And also we are going to see this particular question, how a scenario based question come from the auto scaling group. So as you might be aware that auto scaling group is basically used for uh, balancing your traffic like uh, to auto scale the number of server to auto uh, scale down the number of server and to handle your traffic whenever the number of requests increases on your particular application correct so there are different policies which we create uh, within this auto scaling it might be your dynamic scaling policy or it might be your scheduled action so within this dynamic scaling policy what we talk about we create the policy that whenever my CPU utilization or the number of requests has breached a particular threshold. So a particular number of servers should get increased or if it has come to uh, like it has come down the threshold, if the number of servers should get decreased. It should be scaled down. Correct. Then there is a second option to create a scheduled action. When we talk about a scheduled action, that means just suppose that a particular organization has a kind of mega cell and they want that for particular this two hours of duration, 14 to 16, that means 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. There should be uh, enough number of uh, servers which should uh, serve the traffic, correct? So we can create a scheduled action and it will schedule the number, uh, it will scale uh, up the number of servers uh, at 2 p.m. And then it will once again scale down the number of servers at 4 p.m. Correct. So this is how your scheduled actions work. Now let's move towards the question. What does this question say? It says that you have an auto scaling group with a default desired capacity of two instances. That means normally your auto scaling group will spin up only two number of instances. But you have created a scheduled action to increase the desired capacity to five at nine a.m. So every weekday, that means Monday to Friday, you are creating five number of AC2 instances. Your auto scaling group is launching five number of AC2 instances every weekday at 9 a.m. morning. And another one you have created to scale down at 6 p.m. That means at 6 p.m. 9 to 6 it will be 5 and 6 p.m. it will come again up to 2. Up to 2 number of servers. Correct. That's the scheduled action you have created. However, during one weekday a target tracking policy. Target tracking policy basically works that it will monitor that whenever a CPU utilization has breached, so it will increase the number of servers. But if your CPU utilization not coming down, it will once again increase the number of servers. So that's how your target tracking policy works. So during one weekday, a target tracking policy based on CPU more than 70% increase the desired capacity to 6 at 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. is the time duration between 9 a.m. to your 6 p.m. While this 9 a.m. to 6 p.m this scheduled action has increased up to five number of servers but your target tracking policy has increased the six uh, has increased up to six number of servers based on the cpu relation 70 percent that's the different uh, target uh, different policy correct that has worked here so what will happen at 6 pm even if your cpu relation is not coming down so just suppose that after 6 pm also your cpu relation is more than 70 percent according to target tracking policy the number of servers should get increased after the 6, correct? It should go from 6 to 10 based on your policy configuration. But at the same time, you have this scheduled action which should decrease the number of server up to 2 at 6 p.m. So what will happen uh, actually at 6 p.m. Uh, on that particular day? Will this auto scaling uh, will work and it will scale back to 2 or it will stay at 6 or it will do something else? What kind of behavior this auto scaling group will show based on the scheduled action, based on the target tracking policy. So let's go to the answer directly. So what happens when you create a scheduled action that becomes your prioritized policy? So scheduled action cannot be over, uh, overwrite. It will always work in its own way. Correct. So at 6 p.m. the scheduled action will override the current desired capacity. That, that, that means your target tra tracking policy has worked at 10 a.m. It has increased up to 6 number of server. But a scheduled action will override the current desired. And it will set it back to 2 as defined. So it was defined that every uh, weekday at uh, 6 p.m. it will scale down up to 2. Correct. So a scale, uh, the scheduled action will override and it will scale down to 2. Even though the target tracking policy increased it to 6 earlier based on CPU. 
schedule actions take priority at their schedule time and reset the desired mean and max value as configured. So this one particularly highlights the scheduled action do not consider real-time matrix. It has nothing to do with the real-time matrix. Whatever the number of requests are coming, whatever the CPU relation is happening, this uh, scheduled action has nothing to do with that particular matrix. They will work on that particular window where uh, on which it has been implemented. So the note you can take uh, from this particular uh, question and the answer is that Target tracking resumes monitoring after that year and will scale back if the high CPU persists. What does that mean? Your scheduled action worked at 6 p.m. It in, uh, decreased the number of server up to two instances, but still your CPU utilization was not less than 70%. It was again uh, more than 70% only. So even if the scheduled action has worked, it has scheduled down up to two. Target tracking policy is there to monitor the system. It will monitor that CPU utilization is still more than 70%. So once again, target tracking policy will work after 6 p.m. And it will scale down based on the uh, your threshold. Like if you have uh, set up a new threshold that you know, if it goes 70 to 90, I should scale up more number of servers. That is 10 number of server. So it will again spin up the 10 number of server. So that's how it works. A scheduled action will work at its time then target tracking policy can work its according uh, according to its own configuration. So this is what I wanted to talk about the important topic of the policy auto scaling uh, within this auto scaling group, the scheduled action, the dynamic policy, how it will work. So let's meet in the next video and uh, we will meet with some important question in the next video. Till the time. Thank you. Bye bye.